Hey all, it's me Preeti. Yes, and in my previous video, I have taught you uh, by giving uh, the element, you must get back the index position. So, but this is uh, different, completely different from that. That is, you are giving an index position and you're getting back the element. I'll just run this program. Enter the index position to get back the element. So I'll give zero. So zero in zero is the index position which I'm giving. What zero contains? It contains phi. So zero index position contains phi. I'll run this again. I'll give index position as one. So one index position contains a value four. So you can see one contains a value four. So how is this done? This is very simple logic. I'll just take this everything off and I'll explain you everything. So this is initialization and declaration of an array. And we use a scanner and I have told you we use a scanner to take input from the console. So scanner, after scanner, you give anything as a variable name. I'll give S. It can be anything is equals to new scanner, new scanner, oh, new, it should not be file source. It should be input stream source. Okay. So system dot in fine now print the statement what you want to see on the console ask please enter the index position okay and whatever you enter will be stored in a integer variable so you are entering the index position so i'm storing into a variable name called index s dot next int okay now i'll iterate my array to get individual elements i less than a dot length and i plus plus when i iterate a loop the simple logic what i'm using here that is whatever you enter in the console if it equals to the same i value then please print that corresponding i value element that is if you're giving Okay, I'll just give index now and I'll explain you the logic. If index is equals to i, then sprint array element. So I have said you in my previous video that if you print only high i here, it will give back the index position. But if you print a of i, then it will give the element which is present in that particular index position, right? So what happens when a for loop iterates for the first time? i will be 0 right and i will have a value 5 uh, okay i'll run the program and i'll show you please enter the index position so i'll give index position as 0 now it should return back 5 so it is returning back 5 you can see right so how is this happening when for loop iterates for the first time the i index position value will be 0 right and what i entered is also 0 so what index index contains what i enter so what i entered was also zero and i value was also zero so when these two matches please print me back that zero index position element but not the index position right so a of i contains that index position element but not the index position i hope you people understood with uh, understood what i have done here so if you didn't understand it is as just equal logic if whatever you enter is equal to the i loop then please print that index position element understood so i think you people understood this thoroughly if you didn't understand please do let me know in the comments so that i'll get back to you in a more better way and effective way to explain you and um, do share and subscribe and share to your friends telling that how it was useful to you so that let it be useful to them as well and this is all about preparing for an interview and the important questions as well so if you did like this video, please do like it. Please do share and subscribe with your friends and do watch my next videos as well, which is of completely arrays. And I'll be moving on to strings and uh, numbers as well, which are of more importance. Uh, please do watch my upcoming videos. Thank you so much.